Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Poison TV, my name is Wig and here is a replay from the East of Masters number 2 and we're going to have two great players here on uh, on the Frost actually and let's see who spawns in the bottom right uh, location we do have the Red Protoss Monty and as his Terran opponent making this a TVP it's going to be Super Sluil Luli oh that was one harder one uh, so yeah, Luli versus Monty, uh, a TVP on Frost, and we're going to see exactly what these guys are up to quite soon. I got this replay from sc 2 uh, replayseu I do believe, so shout out to you guys for bringing us great replays. And for you guys who just uh, are watching this for the first time, this is Poison TV. I am one of the casters, it's a wig, and uh, this is going to be a solo cast uh, for our YouTube content. So hopefully you'll stay with us and watch the entire thing. And yeah, hopefully we get a really great game. I haven't seen this before, so this is going to be a cold cast. Uh, really looking forward to it. I do believe in cold casting, so don't be surprised if I don't know what's going to happen. And oh my god, uh, let's hope I don't do that too much during the game. I actually forgot to disable my nice, nice mouse scroll thing from when I was playing a so before, so hopefully it won't affect us too much. If it does, I'm just going to turn it off really quickly, but hopefully it won't disturb too much. Um, so let's see, anyhow, what's happening uh, between the players. So we do see uh, Luli getting only his racks, no gas yet, and okay, I'm just going to turn that off right here and now, so you don't have to see that. There we go, I'm really sorry for that, and we we're just going to keep on doing this because I, uh, I had to redo one, and I really don't want to redo it twice because of that one thing. Uh, so yeah, anyhow, we do see Luli getting his gas up, going to get that Reaper out as soon as possible after this. Or we might even see, actually no, thinking of the timing of the refinery, we might just see that really common uh, Marine first into the reactor on the back. So we'll see, not making a Marine though, so it looks like he, he will be going into, okay, no, there we go. Okay, Marine on the way, we might just see that nice uh, reactor into uh, a command center for Luli. Meanwhile, uh, Monty just getting the cyber core down and he's just playing very standardly, not getting a second gas yet, so not gonna be getting any kind of tech out so far at least. And now, oh, Luli with a really early uh, second refinery. Are we gonna see some tech coming out from him? That's, that's interesting to be honest. We don't see a, ref a refinery yet. Have one of the Marines out already on the map, All, uh, also scouting of course. And uh, yeah, he already scouted the wrong direction, so now we'll scout, uh, scout the right one. Monte though hasn't scouted yet, he, he will actually manage to see the SV on the way uh, incoming here. So now Luli will scout this Nexus, uh, really early Nexus going down from Monte, uh, and that he's been very, very greedy with this. Of course, it's a one gate opener uh, with a much to help out to defend. But meanwhile, I mean, Luli, he, he's getting his uh, factory in quite a nice timing. A lot of gas being mined at this point. Just look at that gas income. Uh, almost doubling, even more than doubling, to be honest, than Monty. So uh, right now, we'll see... Uh, we'll see him just get that stop or right off this, off this factory and be able to get some really nice uh, drops incoming. So... Meanwhile, Monty just trying to scout by, seeing what's happening, and he really needs to scout this as soon as possible, because Luli, I mean, he isn't going for any kind of command center, he's just hoping that he can do crippling amounts of damage with this one big attack, and he's already getting the reactor on his barracks, the factory's pumping out Hellions, and we should uh, be seeing, um, well, he did put the factory a, a way back here, actually, so it doesn't really look like he wants to lift. That was a really weird placement for that, so probably we'll just see a nice drop timing with a lot of Marines and uh, some Hellions as well to add that on, and there we go. Yeah, double Marines on the way, and he's not going to get that double Hellion. Instead, he's just going to get double Marines and Hellions, and now we'll try to get those Medivacs out. Should not see uh, any kind of tech lab or reactor, and there we go. The singular Medivac on the way. Meanwhile, Monty scouting about with his one Stalker does doesn't have that many units out yet. Of course, the same goes for Luli, but he's uh, producing a lot. Meanwhile, Monty just finishing up the target. This is a really, uh, this is extremely good for him. But the thing is that he has to get a Phoenix for it to really be good. Otherwise, I mean, if he's getting an Oracle, that's not really going to work out in this game. And he's getting Robo as well, so he's going really tech heavy. Not that heavy in the armor composition, to be honest. And now Monty will scout to see that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of Marines actually, and. They can't really catch that Stalker, but they can actually poke and do some nice amounts of damage. Meanwhile, he's get, uh, running around here with these Hellions, trying to do uh, some nice run rounds here and get all those nice juicy, juicy probes. Now, see, tw 
uh, 23 SVs to uh, 37 probes, so really nice count here for Monty, but Luli looking to do some really heavy damage to them. Of course, um, Sea Jack's on the way, and we'll see a Banshee coming out as well. Mighty Cloak, because of that, really heavy gas, still mining from Luli, and no, absolutely no command center on the way, but did Monty actually scout? He never got to scout that far, and he only saw those marines camping over here. He does not know. He doesn't know. So, right now, Luli getting ready for the run by. Where is his drop? Here we go. The drop is going to drop into the main, and hope that Monty is distracted for long enough to actually lose all his probes. So, oh my god, that medivac is dying quickly. Dying with all the marines in it, and there we go, cleaned up already. And now these three Hellions has to do amazing amount of damage, but already pulling all those probes, and oh, doesn't get the stacked up ones, and gets slowed as well, now taking a lot of damage here, and that, that, that's absolutely a lot of damage indeed. Meanwhile, we do see uh, the Banshee are trying to go on the far left side uh, to do some kind of damage, but this was a big uh, failed attack from Luli. Just uh, let's look at the resources lost. We do see here a lot of resources lost, and remember, he still doesn't have an expansion. Still, he doesn't have an expansion. I mean, oh my god, this is big, and he's getting a Raven out. Um, interesting choice to be honest, but he can't really transition in just into the expansion. He has to do damage. Somehow has to do damage. And now the army of Monte though, not really in position to defend against this one Banshee. And uh, sure, with a cloak, it can do uh, tons of damage. We already see an, uh, a lot of units for Luli and another one on the way. So he's just pushing out with this big army. Uh, but I mean, Monty, he's not far behind when it comes to army uh, value, at least. And even pulling the mule, why not, you know? When you're all in, why not just go fully all in? And Monty scouts this incoming. He knows this is danger. I had to watch out. Oh, nice poking here on the Banshee. Getting a lot of hits on them. Doesn't even lose a single health on those Phoenix. Only a bit of the shields. So very nicely done indeed by Luli. And meanwhile, Monty, the, uh, by uh, Monty, sorry. And Luli now, though, really wants to end this game. Even pulling those SVs, really wants to make sure he can get this. And with that, Raven, we'll deny all the observers. And we'll try to go in with Cloak. And here we go, sieging up outside Monty's base. And Monty's pushing. He knows he can't attack into this. We have, uh, we have even... Bunkers being made at Monty's natural. Meanwhile, he does have the one Oracle. Could really turn the tide here, but here we go. Monty trying to poke. Losing one of the stalkers. Not a big blow, but still enough. And here we go. Luli wants to kill a lot of probes here. Forcing the first and overcharge. But nice uh, point defense going here. And might even be able to kill off the Nexus. Nexus taking critical damage. And now lifting up the siege tanks. Oh, Monty. And Luli is taking a lot of beating, but... With those uh, bunkers really helping out, lifting up the siege tanks though, and doing tons of damage, it's Monty, but Luli standing strong, and he's actually pushing Monty back, and Monty GGing out, look at that, Luli, with a perfect, perfect contain, and killing Monty, forcing the GG, well played. So this is Poison TV, my name is Awake, hope you did like that replay, and yeah, stay tuned and uh, watch our stream if you want to.